Hello everyone, welcome back with me Krishna again in this channel. Channel that always gives you the information about places in Bali with the update situation. How are you today? I hope you're doing good, stay safe and healthy wherever you are. Okay, today I'm in Ubud. I would like to drive you around here. Let's see what's happening in Ubud Center. And then I'll continue to drive you to Christmas Street. Let's see what is happening at Christmas Street. And also I will visit few hotels because I have requests from you guys to visit few hotels in Christmas Street. So don't go anywhere and let's watch until the end of this video. Okay, this is the situation at Hanuman Street in Ubud. As you can see, it's not really busy or not really quiet. It's just normal, few scooters, parking, cars as well, and some people walking around on the sidewalk. And as you can see around here, few shops are open. Okay, I will turn right here. This is the visitor street. Here as well guys, most of the shops are open. It's nice to see that. Hopefully they have made some sales. And here on the left side is the Golden Monkey restaurant. Not really busy, but few people there because I think the lunch time is over because now it's about 3.30 pm. And the weather today is not really good. We had rain earlier. So hopefully it will not rain again so that we can finish this video to see what is happening or to update the situation for you. And here on the right side, as you can see, most of the shops are closed. Sad to see that. Hopefully they will be able to open again soon in the future. side is the frozen yogurt guys anybody like to try yogurt you can try it there okay so here in front of us is the monkey forest street I will go to the right here let's see the Ubud center and then we will go to this mustard guys Some shops are open, but there's nothing much is happening. Nice to see a few tourists walking around here. And here on the right side, there is a new shop. I think it's Blood and Bone or something like that. Okay, we are getting closer to Ubud Center, and here on the right side is the Ubud Market. But I mentioned in my previous video that Ubud Market are under renovation. I think it will take a long time because they are renovating the whole market. And if you like to go to Ubud Market, I think you need to go somewhere else. But anyway, there are some people selling their stuff by the road guys, nearby the Ubud Market. So you still can do shopping. It's a bit crowded in the Ubud Center near the palace because they preparing themselves to go somewhere else for praying. Okay, let's continue. This is Jalan Raya Ubud. As you can see around here on the right side is the Starbucks coffee. They are open. And the Cafe Lotus as well, they are open too. And here 
again on that side is the Casa Luna. They are open as well. It's nice to see some people there. I think Casa Luna, they are doing okay during this pandemic because every time I pass by, I always see some people there. And so it's glad to see that. Let's continue, here we need to go to the left to go to Bisma Street Place. So let's see what is happening or how is the situation now. Okay, so this is the situation at Bisma Street. As you can see, very very quiet, it's almost the same like last time I came here. But here on the left side, cafe is open, it's nice to see that. But unfortunately here on the right side, the one at cafe is still remaining closed. It was a popular cafe I think for this area, but unfortunately they have been closed a very long time during this pandemic. Let's hope they will be open soon so that people can visit their cafe and the staff can back to work again. And here on the left side, I think someone is getting married. Here on the right side is a nice building, nice design. I think this is a hotel or homestay. Nice to see some tourists here guys. And I have a request to see the Nick's Pensions Hotel or Homestay. So this is the place guys. I'll park my scooter and let's walk around in this area. This is the restaurant, but I think today they are closed. There are a few cars here, but I don't know if they have guests for today. So let's see. And this is their reception or front desk. And this is their pool guys. It's a nice pool, very clean. And they have kids side and also adult side. Okay, let's continue. Let's walk around to this hotel area and let's visit one of their room guys so that you have an idea if you like to book this hotel, how it looks like. And here there are some prize beddies. Nice view. And these are their rooms location. Here as you can see they have chairs and table in front of the room but you can sit and relax. And this is their room guys. This is how it looks like. They have table. They have two beds.
They have electric kettle as well and mini fridge for you to put your drinks or food. They have cupboard, a stuff hall, and this is their bathroom. They have bathtub, toilet, shower of course. But I don't see there is any TV here. I don't know if they don't put TV or they will put it. And it's nice view guys, nice bed is view from here. Okay, let's walk a little bit. Let's see around in this area. And by the way, if you stay here and like to go to uh, Ubud Market or Ubud Center, you don't need to go around guys. There is a bridge here across the river. You can go there and you will arrive at Monkey Forest Street nearby the Ubud Market or Ubud Center. Here is the bridge, so you can walk past this bridge and you will arrive at the Ubud Center guys. How's this hotel guys? You like to stay here maybe when you visit Ubud? For me the room is okay and the location is not really far from Ubud Center which is nice. Still we can go to Ubud Center by walk but if you drive maybe only like 5 minutes you will arrive or maybe less than 5 minutes you will arrive at Ubud Center where the restaurants, cafes, shops and etc. the situation around here nothing much is happening I think most of the shops are closed except the circle K is still open and I have another request to visit Inata Bisma so let's see how is the situation at that hotel but before we reach that hotel let's see what is happening around here guys here on the left side there is new place or shops which is empty so if you think you like to start a new business, you can have a look. But I don't think it's a good time to start a business around here. As you can see, the situation is very, very quiet. But if you're really confident, then you may do so.
we are arriving at Inata Bisma. So here on the right side is the hotel, but I see there is a bamboo blocking our way. So I'm guessing this hotel probably closed, but let's see. Let's have a look for a while. So this is the situations at Inata Bisma guys. I don't see anybody here so I think the hotel is closed. But I will just walk a little bit to see if I can find anybody here. And this is their pool area. The pool is still very good, very clean. But I just wonder why I don't see anybody here. And here I think is their front desk. Okay, since I don't see anybody, so I will just walk away and let's see how is the situation around here. And here in front of us, there is a nice cafe. It's open, but I don't know what they are selling. Maybe food for lunch or dinner. So what do you think about this area, guys? At Bisma area or Bisma Street area? Do you think you like to stay here? I think it's quite okay. You can find a lot of hotels, some stays, but I don't see a lot of restaurants. So still you need to go to the Ubud Center to find some restaurants, I think, for your lunch or dinner. Here on the right side is the Kamala Resort. It looks nice from outside. And here, if we go left. And here, if you go to the left, or we will go to Jalan Raya Monkey Forest, which is very close to Monkey Forest area. So if you don't know this street, you can try to come here. So far to this video from this area in Ubud. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to support me by subscribing this channel. See you again in the next video. Thank you very much and bye now.